Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Clinic. So today we are going to see in the installation of robotic operating system called as Noetic. So ROS, in short we will be calling it as ROS. So we have two versions of ROS, ROS1 and ROS2. In this we are going to see uh, the ROS1 installation in Ubuntu 20.04. So the future videos what we are going to see will be uh, based on this ROS1 Noetic. So if you are starting your robotic uh, operating system journey, so then uh, this is the first place that you can able to do and you can able to try installing it on Ubuntu 20.04. So this uh, ROS1 will have a support till 2025 May. So that means another uh, two years we have the complete support. Later on we can migrate to ROS2. Uh, which can be installed on uh, Ubuntu 22.04. So anyway, uh, after uh, this RAS1 course over, we will go for the RAS2 course. Yes, so now uh, here are some of the commands to be used one after the other. So I have just given in the description window. Actually, RAS has an official wiki channel. So where in the wiki, you can able to find all these commands. I have just uh, replicated it so that uh, it can be easier for you to understand uh, how that uh, installation have been done. So you can uh, copy, uh, there are multiple commands there. So you can copy paste each and every command here. So now after uh, give this thing, uh, open a terminal. So in the terminal here like this. So first command uh, you can just go and copy. Yes, so this is the way you can copy here. Uh, right click and then you can copy. So then paste it in the command window. This is a terminal. So then you press enter. It lasts for the root password. So give the password of the user and the path is set. First thing is set. Next thing is you have to install the package called as canonical URL. C URL. So this package need to be installed in Linux. So we give the command. And this time no, it won't ask the password because once we have given the password for some time, some point of time, the password won't be asked. So then this get installed. Then after that, use this command to add the canonical URL for the downloading the ROS, complete ROS information. Now once this is added, so then we have to go for a installation of Noetic. So now we have to give a sudo apt update. So this is a command we can give sudo apt update. Once you press enter, so the Noetic also will be updated in the aptitude package manager. Ubuntu has an aptitude package manager, so that will be getting updated. So then uh, sudo apt we can see that install uh, ROS hyphen noetic hyphen desktop hyphen full. So the complete package can be installed using this command sudo apt install uh, ROS hyphen noetic hyphen desktop hyphen full. So this will be uh, completely installing and total uh, size will be around 700 and 369 MB of archives will be downloaded and totally it will occupy around 1.8 GB of space. So this is the next command. So I have just given the command. So you can simply copy paste the command and then you can make use of the installation. So this installation might be taking some time because it should download almost 400 MB of softwares. So slightly it may take some uh, uh, based on your computation uh, time and your hardware, your RAM and processor. It may take some time. So I have just forwarded the, I mean fast forward the video there so that uh, my complete package has got installed in some bite of time. So once the installation is done, so we have done the installation successful. So after that, uh, uh, the ROS will be uh, working out everything based on workspaces. So we need to manage workspaces and we need to manage uh, our own workspaces. So for that, we need some packages to be installed. And before that, there are some development libraries that also can be installed. Already have just installed it. So that command also you can able to run. So then, uh, we need to download the some packages that need to be monitoring the workspaces or managing our own workspaces. So those commands need to be installed one by one. Now in this video, I have just given those commands over here. You can check it. So now you can see here are the commands one by one. I will be giving one by one commands in the terminal. Now sudo apt install python3 hyphen draw step. So ROS DEP, so the command, then python3 hyphen ROS step hyphen generator. So there is the next command ROS install. Then again python3 hyphen ROS install hyphen generator. 
then python3 hyphen ws tool so these commands need to be installed that is a workspace tool that's what ws tool so these commands need to be installed for managing our own workspaces because in the next example we can able to show you how a publisher subscriber model helpful in uh, ros so that also we have to install it so that way we can uh, install these packages so i just given the complete inf information in the editor file or the below the description of this video so then you can copy paste it as well as i have my own blog there also i just mentioned about how to install this or else you can follow the wiki also so the wiki also has a video for how to install it so this way i can able to run it here so after it is done i can able to use a command sudo rostep init so that is a we have to just initialize the rostep then again we give rostep update so once it is there uh, whatever is there in the uh, robotic operating system will be getting updated all the versions so in our case we have noetic version so noetic version will be updated you can see there are other versions like melodic rolling foxy like that there are some humble but we used only noetic so noetic is completely upgraded here so now uh, every package got installed so we have installed almost all the packages so once the package is done we have to set the path information so now we have to set the path information so there are uh, many methods to set the path so first i'll say i'll show you one path information that is very easy to handle it so there is a file called as in all the home folder of uh, ubuntu operating system there is a file there is a file called as dot bash rc so we have to open the file using the command so first open a terminal uh, simply press uh, first open a terminal a new terminal open with the command name gedit so this command you just copy paste it so i have just given the command all what line to be copy pasted i have just given the command as well so what we can do is so that we have to open it first so first we will open with gedit dot bash rc so put cd enter and go it and go to gedit dot bash rc after it is done uh, to the end of this line you can see that i have just given a command source space slash opt slash ros slash noetic slash setup dot bash so if you want to run noetic from any uh, terminal if you want to run it within your operating system this path has to be set so as you know that in windows also we have path information so here also we need to set the path information in linux the best method to set the path is the dot bash or c file so once we have set it there now after it is set so maybe you can log out and log in back the system once you log out and log in back then uh, all the terminals will be the path will be set so then you can able to use multiple commands for uh, ros and uh, once the commands are successful that means the installation is completely successful so this is what we are going to see now so now the path is set now we'll go to the terminal so now we can see uh, once you we have logged out and log in back or restart the system so whichever way you feel convenient you can do that and that's it and now we have installed ros1 noetic completely successfully then you can run these commands so ros run there is one command so the command is been executed or the command is accepted by the linux operating system and ros launch that also been accepted and we have ros message also got accepted and ros topic so many topics are got accepted so that means our installation is successful so now in the next two videos we will be seeing about how to do programming in robotic operating system so if you have not subscribed to our channel you please subscribe to it and also please share this to your friends to your research scholars or uh, if you are a faculty uh, to your students and uh, keep watching my videos and don't uh, forget to click the